what has been your biggest challenge or most difficult project and how did you overcome it? The most difficult uh, on the field, last call, we had to go up in the attic and it was very, yeah, it was, I was, yeah, it was, it, it was bad. Uh, yeah, I struggled a lot, um, but yeah, we, we, we got it, we, you know, made it happen, we got it done and yeah, that, that was, that was really a, a struggle. So, <laughs> and it's going to be, it's going to be, yeah, I, I know it's going to be more of that, so I'm, I'm prepared. So yeah, yeah, so I'm excited. Um, I would say the most difficult project is probably the electrical. So these boards right here, um, at first they were really complicated for me to understand because uh, there's a lot of different details that you have to like look at. And if something goes wrong in these boards, just one thing, the whole system isn't gonna work. So just learning where common is, um, where your high voltage and everything is, uh, was kind of difficult for me. I'm still getting the grasp for it and everything, but I feel like the more I watch uh, the HVAC school videos and with Bert, um, I'm starting to understand it more and more every day. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's easy. My biggest challenge, honestly, has just been myself. I tend to overthink things a lot. And a lot of the times, because I overthink things, I end up going in the complete opposite direction because I just kept on thinking, kept on thinking. Turns out I was in the right direction the entire time. Air handler had a leak on the coil and um, the, the unit didn't have a heat pump. So we kind of have to wait a while to be able to wait until defrost, to be able to read it, see what's going on, and to be able to find the leak. The more in-depth uh, part of an HVAC system, like not just besides the refrigeration cycle, like going deeper into how it actually works, everything that's really going on in the unit, um, not just the main components that we know of that they tell us in school, we're at a home that we could not figure out what the issue was. We could not diagnose it. And um, it was really hard for me to sit there and not really understand or be able to help because I didn't exactly know what was going on. Um, so in that meantime that he was trying to figure out the issue, I just took the time to learn about um, the whole system. At the time we were working on a TXV, which I had no idea what that was. So I just took the time to research that and how it works in a system, what it does. Doing the schematic diagram would probably be my biggest challenge. Um, just understanding where, how the electricity works, how the electric flow works, um, understanding the difference between high voltage, low voltage,